Ow, ow, ow. Uh, sir, sir. Oh, <laughs> nope, don't buy, not worth it. Hey guys, what's up? It's Lauren, welcome back to my channel. I am an undeniable TikTok addict, and that paired with being an easily influenced shopper creates a slightly problematic environment for myself and my credit card, and half of my purchases, half of my closet, end up being purchases that have been inspired by TikToks, reviewing, or raving a product. There was that feta and tomato pasta that went crazy viral. Like it was legitimately impossible to find feta cheese in all of LA. Like TikTok wiped LA dry of feta cheese. Like that is the power of the shopping influence that TikTok holds over us. I also am a frequent victim of a TikTok going viral and I don't see it until their product is already like majorly sold out. That happens every time I'm recommended some kind of like outfit or clothing piece. There was a Victoria's Secret and For Love and Lemons collab that happened and I completely missed like the one hour window that you needed to see that TikTok if you wanted to purchase that product and it was just gone, it was just gone. So I am a frequent victim of that happening to me but in this video, ooh, bitch, I got some good shit that I got to buy before it became sold out because it went too viral on TikTok. I'll make sure to include not only the TikToks that uh, inspired the purchase, but also the Amazon or shopping link where I bought it. Okay, first up is this necklace that I saw Amelie wearing, who arguably may be the most perfect person that I have seen in my entire life. She linked the product on her Instagram, but I was able to find a TikTok of her wearing it just so you could see it. Because I think it was on a story when she posted it. Like, who looks like this? Especially how young she is. Who looks like this? I just don't understand how she got all of, all of that, all of that. So that's the necklace. And I feel like this 2000s trend of little beaded necklaces are so popular. Realistically, I'm a little ashamed because I know that I could DIY this necklace if I really wanted to. We've got tippy tappies approaching in three, two, one, Oh, he came in the other side of the of the, <laughs> of the door. <laughs> Bubbies, you made me look bad. You didn't come in on the right side of the doorway. <laughs> These necklaces came in a pack of four. And gonna be honest, there is one specific one that I bought the whole pack for. And it's this little rainbow one in the front. It's so cute. This one doesn't necessarily go with my outfit today, but I am going to Cabo this coming week. And you bet your ass, I'm about to have little daisy tan lines on my neck because it's so cute. And also I realistically would buy anything that Amelie wears, even though I know that it won't look the same on me as it does on her. You, you can't go wrong with a cute little necklace. I live for these Amazon clothing hauls. I 100% thought that Amazon was only for ordering like Q-tips and uh, like pillow cases and stuff. I had no idea there were so many clothes options on Amazon. So she did a whole haul of a few different things, but this first dress was so cute. Again, Cabo next week, had to do a little bit of shopping. She got so many cute dresses. I only bought the first one from this haul, but everything looks so cute on her. Maybe I should have bought more. Maybe, am I living in regret right now? I, I should have bought more. Ooh, this is pretty... Oh, oh, you tied yourself. I was like, what is this? Oh, you know we're about to do a try on. Oh, this is cute. It looks like a good size. These colors are not colors that I feel like I ever would have naturally gravitated towards, but they look so good on her. It completely sold me. Oh my God, ladies and gentlemen, we have a winner. Oh, this is cute. I need to get like some little petals or whatever here, but like this is cute. You. And it's flattering, like it's not too thin. I have like a little slip underneath. So I wasn't sure like how see-through these are gonna be, but wow, wow, wow. Amazon, come through. Next we have a stasher scrunchie. So these are essentially scrunchies that have a little zipper on them where you can put your shit. And I am someone who has 95 things in my purse. So maybe this will be not, not like a full solution, but a partial solution to having too much stuff in my bag. So here is what it looks like. It's a cute scrunchie. Oh, this is a lot small. Oh, oh, you can put things all the way around. Okay, here's the little zipper. Let's see how much shit we can fit in here. I've uh, collected a few things. Vaseline little lip balm, some AirPods. <laughs> We're really gonna test the limits here. Oh. 
you know when a snake eats something you can see exactly what it is in the snake's body I feel like we're experiencing that a little bracelet some rings a vlog camera battery This is the reality of things that are really in my bag. But let's zip it up I've got one more item that I want to see if it would fit. I mean <laughs> It's pretty weighty. It's pretty weighty. It's the camera battery and the AirPods specifically that are really intense but I think if you had like a hair elastic a few rolled up bills in here and like a lip balm. I think that this would actually be highly functional. Oh my God, I feel like the scrunchie is birthing the AirPods out right now. <sighs> okay, I am someone who doesn't leave the house without a snack. And so I wanted to see if these um, bunny grams would fit in here. I don't know if they will. I really don't know if they will. Oh, <laughs> maybe they will. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God, they 100% fit. They 100% fit. Let's go, baby. I'm ready for a concert. I'm ready for a theme park. I'm ready for the beach. I wonder if I can put it in my hair still. Oh, oh my God. Bitch, you would never know that I have bunny grams and all that shit up in my hair. Wow, a bitch has bunny grams in her hair and you would never know. 10 out of 10, honestly. Like, I really push the limits of this thing, but for normal people who don't want to put bunny grams in their hair, this is a good product. This one came with a beige color and a black one as well. 10 out of 10, honestly. Here's another one that I consistently get ads for. So I saw this TikTok and she did a whole Amazon haul of other cute things, but I get ads for pillow slippers every single day. And Remy is also a walking ad for pillow slippers. Oh, and by pillow slippers, I, I mean pillow sandals, like pillow slides, pillow flops, whatever you want to call them. Remy loves hers. I've tried hers on. They're very comfortable. My only issue is that when anything has a really like solid heel, I have those slip-on Uggs that are kind of the shape that have the strap around the back. I'm constantly rolling my ankle and almost dying. And these I think are like the knockoff brand of pillow slides. So I can't attest to the comfiness of the actual like on brand ones, but these are the ones that she had linked on her Amazon that I ended up buying. Oh, these bitches be lying. I ordered a size 36. I'm actually closer to a 35, but that was the smallest size they had. These are a 37 to a 38. Oh my God. Oh my God, my knees, my knees. Is this 27? Oh yeah, these 100% like first off just are way too big. Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? Can you see me? They're fine. I guess they're cushy. They're pretty cushy. Yeah, they're cushy. Like would I choose these over a croc every single day? Absolutely. Okay, so based on these being wildly ill-fitting, uh, not my size, and not the actual like brand name pillow slides, these kind of lead me to believe that the actual purchase might be worth it. And even if you're not trying to splurge, if you can get these in the right size, a solid product. Okay, this is one of the TikToks that I got super lucky on and I was able to make the purchase before they went crazy viral. This one has 573,000 views and 109,000 likes, bitch, I got lucky. So these are jeans from Abercrombie and I have not shopped at Abercrombie since I was in grade eight. Like Abercrombie is, is back and making cute shit apparently. So these are a wide leg denim that are supposed to be like really fitting on the booty and the waist, but still have like a wide flare leg. She ordered them in tall, but she looks much taller. And so I was able to get them in my size, the crop wide leg ultra high rise. I got them in size 25 and they are regular length. I like the wash. I will say they look a little short for being ultra high rise. I think about how long my wide leg Zara jeans are and these look a little bit like capris. <laughs> I'm a little nervous if I'm being honest. Either way, the tags are still on if I have to return them. I'm 5'5", five five. like I'm very average height, so I never have to buy short or tall. Like I am, I am a regular average jean length kind of person. <laughs> you guys, <laughs> you guys. <laughs> Here's the good news is that the waist it's cute. The waist fits really well. It's tight on the butt. Like I feel like the booty looks pretty cute. It's a good fit. Like I can feel 
that it's hugging the cheeks, right? Like this right here, like you would think everything's going great when I tell you. Again, this is a regular length, this is a regular length uh, jean. <laughs> In what world? Um, hello, it's Lauren from the future here. Um, so I'm I'm dumb, and these jeans are legitimately called a cropped jean. So Abercrombie, I am so sorry for all the shit that I talked about. Um, th that's on me. These are uh, floods. This is what we used to call this. I don't know if it's still called that. That's a flood. What is that? They're almost up to my shins, honestly. Like... <laughs> <laughs> like this is the most dad angled in the entire world. I feel like sometimes that length of jean, if there was like two more inches, is actually a cute length when you're wearing stilettos so you can see the entire heel. There's nothing cute about that. I don't know who they measured to say that these are the regular length jeans. They're not, they're not. If you're if you're 5'5", five five, you need to order the long ones. And if you're taller than 5'5", five five, these jeans are not for you. They're just, they're just not for you. This is another wildly viral product. It has 3.4 million views. It's like this electric hair detangler. So instead of like ripping a brush through your hair, it vibrates the tangles out. And I was lurking through the comments and some of her video responses, and this has been a little bit controversial. I feel like people don't actually believe what's happening. Oh, your batteries are included. Come on, what a deal. So I uh, have not brushed my hair today whatsoever. Like it's not brutal, but like it's not, it's definitely like slept on. Like I really just brushed the top portion into the sleek pony and didn't really touch anything in the bottom. I also just realized that we have uh, our next product sitting right here. It is a snake. <laughs> We'll get to that in a second. I'm only gonna say this because I know that we're all thinking it. This looks like some kind of torture sex toy. I don't know. There, I, I think it's the vibration part of it. I'm not entirely sure. So let's see what happens. I'm scared. Ow, ow, ow. Gonna be honest. I don't think it's doing anything. I think it's genuinely doing nothing. I guess I just don't understand what the difference between this versus regular teeth of a comb. Would it be crazy to say that this might actually tangle it more? Cause like, what would be the difference between doing this and this? Am I crazy? Is there something that I am missing? Like when it gets stuck on a knot, it's just stuck on a knot. It's just still stuck. Nope, don't buy, not worth it. I don't think it has a purpose. I really don't. Okay, let's move on to this snake since he's just like chilling back here. This TikTok is so cute. It's called the Snack Snake. I don't think Moose has ever played with a toy like this and I, I don't know if he's gonna know what to do. Obviously, we're gonna test it out. I'm gonna give it a quick wash um, and then we'll throw some treats in here. This is like also not an easy, thing to open. So I'm gonna find some small treats so we can start it, but like, she tough. She tough for sure. Our snake is locked and loaded. I used some Charlie Bears from Trader Joe's, which is a big fan. I'm realizing now that there are parts of the snake, like this spot here is really, really thin, so a tree can't fall out there, but a tree can fall out here. I don't know. Let's see what he does with it. I'm, I, I really don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> <laughs> what is this position? Bubbies, I have snake for you. Will you sit? It's a good boy. That's a good boy. Okay, wait. Okay. Let's see what he does. Okay, we have identified that there are treats in the vicinity. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. We had our first treat fall out. Oh, it's so cute when he puts a snake in his mouth. It's so cute. Me being the dog parent where when my dog does literally anything, I'm like, oh my God, look at him. I'm so proud. He's doing so great. Wow, I feel like this is gonna be many minutes of entertainment. Moose eats so fast. A lot of these like enrichment treat toys don't really last that long in our households. And so this might be, this might be one of them. Uh, sir, sir. Oh. <laughs> Okay, I get ads for this product all the time. I see it on Instagram, and I feel like it's one of those products that went viral because it's so aesthetically pleasing looking, 
and also I want my butt to look like this so like why would I not want to purchase this product so I bought it <laughs> as one does I got buns of glory glory and acai your boobies a uh, boob polish firm and tighten I don't really have boobs to polish or tighten but I did want to feel the consistency and give it a sniff I feel like it's not gonna do anything bad to my skin so I figured that I could still try it out and this is a smoothing butt polish to tighten and glow first off they look like shit. Like, they look like actual shit. All the ads have them displayed with, like, the most amazing swirl of product on the inside. And the pink and the green are all, like, intertwined to look so pretty. Here's what mine showed up looking like. A little messy. And I'm gonna be honest, there's not a lot of product in here. Oh, it smells bomb, though. Wow. But, like, do you see what I mean? Like, this whole section here is kind of empty. Oh, it's a lot thicker than I thought it was gonna be. I don't really know where to put this now. Let's put it on my arm. Oh my god, it smells so good. Oh wait, is this something you have to wash off afterwards? <laughs> this is no- Oh my god, I'm stupid. I was like, why are there these all these little bumpies in here? I mean, here's the thing, is that it smells great and exfoliants always kind of do their job. I've heard Hiram talk about how like a really, really coarse exfoliant though, like these ones, can be a little bit harsh, but I feel like on your body it's probably fine. I feel like there's not quite the amount of product in here that I thought I was gonna be getting and it's not as aesthetically pleasing as the um, advertisements but it's like when you see a burger on TV like it's not the same burger that you're actually getting oh my god this one smells so good also this one really does have like the aesthetic little swirl on the top so that really delivered again though I feel like this whole side here is kind of just empty I actually really like the consistency of this it's like thick but still fluffy. The little exfoliator beads are much smaller in the one for your buns. Like I would wanna exfoliate more on my butt than my chest. I feel like my chest is really sensitive to like breaking out and like it just burns faster in the sun. Like it's just like more sensitive overall. Okay, so here are the big ones. This is obviously kind of like a jumbled up group of them. And then here are the little ones that are for your chest. Like there's just a massive size difference. I'm gonna go wash this off real quick. Okay, we're back. My arm still smells really good. Obviously, um, I don't have results as of the, uh, the last 10 seconds that I've been using the product, but 10 out of 10, on smell and consistency. I really am going to give these a try though, specifically the Buns of Glory. I definitely prefer this scent. So stay tuned for results to see if my booty and boobs get polished, firmed, and tightened. All right, so those are all of my TikTok influence purchases. I apologize in advance if I've influenced you to buy any of these things. If you're gonna buy one thing, just make sure it's not this stupid thing. This is dumb, like this is actually dumb. But other than that, this was mildly successful. It really was, there's like nothing aside from that and maybe the jeans maybe the jeans that I was like unhappy with but the jeans I can return I made the mistake of really destroying the box on the uh, hair detangler because I didn't have scissors so we'll just charge that one to the game anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video I will see you guys next Sunday for another one I'll see you on Tuesday for a new episode of wild till nine and again sporadically a few days a week on the vlog channel bye guys love you bye.